Alright, so this is Hestia. She is a giant Australian rainforest mantis, Hyrogula majuscula. Um, she's been dead about two days, and I'm going to dissect her. So we got, you can see, you can see, I'm just going to probe six legs, uh, two pairs. So first the rear legs and the legs coming out from the metathorax. These two pairs are used uh, for climbing and holding on. Uh, the reason she was killed was because the camera probably won't zoom in that far, but you can see on this leg just about, uh, she still has, eh, probably that one's better, uh, she still has all the sections of the tarsus. Uh, the tarsi on the other legs have either been eaten by uh, the locust she was being fed or uh, have fallen off with age because she is fairly old. She's laid two Uthiki to date. Um, you can see the wing cover here, moving up to the thorax head. Um, you might be able to get a view of the... No, the camera won't zoom enough. Oh, maybe. You might just be able to see in there the three simple eyes, Aceli. Two larger compound eyes here and here. Um, and then if you look at the... These are the front arms. They are the raptorial appendages. Uh, wickedly spiked for uh, basically grabbing hold of prey and keeping hold of them while they struggle and die and are eaten. Lovely. Uh, you can see I've pinned out the uh, wing covers here. Uh, High Roger just got a little spot there. Um, on the inside you can see the flight wings which are much more delicate. And God, they look gorgeous, aren't they? Uh, that's probably the best view you're going to get. They... No, hang on, I need to sort my hands. They fold them up quite a way, but if you actually fold them out, they are very decently sized. Um, wow, it's correct, yes. Um, <laughs> I probably won't pin those out, but I will take a pair of forceps, and that is the wing surface they have to fly with. I'm just going to put another pin in there so hold that leg in place. Okay, you good to go? Good. Okay, so if we pull these wings apart, you can see these structures here, two little prongs on the back, segmented, these are called cerci. Uh, C-E-R-C-I, and they are used to tell wind direction uh, if they need to fly. They mostly fly as a flight response, uh, uh, as in a fear response in relation to predators. Uh, you can see on the back here, this brown stuff that is sort of flaking off, that is remnants from the Uthika, which is the egg casing. Sometimes they don't get it all off. Uh, before she died, she was uh, excreting, so it wasn't actually a blockage, but it's just little bits that are left on the sides. Okay, so this is the same mantis, ventral view, uh, dorsal is the back side, ventral is the front side. Uh, this coloration on the bottom uh, is basically for threat displays. So the mantis will do basically this pose, arms out at 90 degrees and up, um, showing off the bright colors on the bottom, so orange, black, pink in this species case uh, which um, is just sort of startling for anything that might be trying to prey on them. At the back here you can see the abdominal segments. Uh, there's the cerci again down at the bottom. Uh, so if we count them here, one, two, three, four, five, six in the middle there. Uh, you find six in a female and eight in a male. Uh, so that's the way to tell the gender mantises. In between the legs on the metathorax, you can just about see a little slit there. That is the ear. It is toned to ultrasonic frequencies, uh, which is used in defense against bats. Uh, it's what I'm doing my dissertation on. Um, uh, basically, that ear there is tuned in to the specific ultrasound frequency that a particular species or a number of species about to use and if that ear detects that particular frequency then the mantis folds its wings in and drops out of just drops because the mantis doesn't weigh enough for that fall to hurt it but uh, it gives survivorship of about 80% on any given attack. So I'm removing the wings now this just gives better access to uh, the body when we want to dissect later. Uh, if I show you this, this is one wing cover here. You can see the white spot, that's kind of characteristic of this species, that hole is just where I put a pin through it earlier. That's one wing cover there. 
you can see again there's the red coloration here which is just uh, for scaring things basically and then we remove this one as well right, just cut through there scissors not razor blades because why not and the arm has popped out of its house. I really have pinned this down very, very poorly. I am sorry. Oh God. I'm just going to fix this. Yep. It's going to move the inner set of wings as well. Characteristic of order Hexapoda. Two pairs of wings and six legs in three pairs. So that's insects, basically. I get. This is the wing here, so if I stretch this out, you can see absolutely beautiful membrane that I've just destroyed. I'm sorry about that. But if I do that, flip it over, I can get that. And stretch it out like that. There you wow. go, that's the full yeah. extent of the membrane. I don't know how we can see that. You can see it quite well. Cool. Yep, that's one. So there's the two wing covers here, and then there's the one wing, mem wing membrane there. And I'll remove this one as well. So if I'm getting Sorry, any of the camera there. Cut that there. So now you can see uh, the dorsal side of the mantis. Um, you can see the segments here going down to the circuit. That's the just bits of boutique I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, so if we pop, pop that out of the way, you can see there, it's it's a little bit like styrofoam. It comes out in a pouch between sort of 30 and 300 eggs, um, which, most of which eat each other in the first sort of day, so. What does? The hatchlings. Okay. Um, I just love, it's just a lovely, the little guard here is just pretty, I think. You can see it's the protecting the thorax. And that's the head there. The arms are folded in again. I'll pin them out in a second. Yeah, I think we're ready to go for... For pinning? Yeah. Um, actually, no, I will, one thing I will do is point it on the sides here. You could always see this very well when she was alive, but I don't know about now. This whole section here, uh, down here, these are called spiracles. They're little holes which lead into the insect's breathing system. Uh, when she was alive, certainly you could see her breathing, and these would flex and open and close. They're little donut shaped things just in there. I don't know if you can see them, but never mind. Okay, uh, I spoke about this a little bit earlier, but if you look down here, uh, it's called the tarsus, it's basically the foot. It has several sections. I don't know how many it's supposed to be there, but I do know that this is the most complete one on this mantis because if you look over here, uh, it's basically equivalent to lost everything below the ankle. Uh, the tarsus, the sections are the bits that help them climb. Um, in sort of her last week, uh, she lost the, the complete tarsus of five of the six legs. Uh, here, 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 and here. Uh, so this is the most complete one, but that meant she couldn't climb, she couldn't hang from the ceiling, which is normal behaviour in captivity mantises. Um, she was only really able to cling onto anything with that one, uh, so she was kind of scrabbling at the glass uh, of her vivarium, which is kind of sad, so that's why we decided to, to uh, pop her in the freezer. Um, yes, okay, I'm going to make an incision along here and see what's inside. I will say that I know a lot less what I'm talking about on the inside, but there is one structure that I am looking for that I might be able to tell you about, which is the egg membrane. Uh, because I have done a dissection before looking for the same thing in a locust, which was fun. My um, my dissection technique was described as very neat by the uh, particular person helping out with the demonstration at uni. I dread to think what they think about this. Um, that gonna work? I think that's going. Okay, we are going through across the top of the abdomen to try and see what's inside. I am wearing gloves now. I was totally wearing gloves the whole time. It's very important that you wear gloves <laughs> um, because it might be not safe. Ah, okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Uh, prepare for some squick. Squick? Grossness. Oh. 
uh, you can see just in here these little ropey bits there and there mm -hmm. uh, I'll get the probe and do it like that and probably these for she force ups oh, I love the smell of nitro gloves okay we good mm -hmm. okay we've got a little prize in here it's like the prize in the cereal box because if we cut some of this away we can see we'll get the probe out a little egg there, can you see it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The camera's got that. It's a little yeah. yellow blob there. Those are the eggs. They'll be laid in, again, this styrofoam pouch. I hate him. Um, uh, and they, they come as an uthika, which means egg membrane. I think that may be the intestines in there, so we might find some chewed up locust if we're lucky. Oh, let's yummy. pop that egg onto there. I don't know, is that egg or is that just fat? I think it's egg. I've only done one dissection like this, which is on Schistocircle gagarii, a plague locust, which uh, has kind of similar structures. All this ropey stuff here is where the eggs come from. Um, oh, what are they? I don't know. Oh, this is fascinating. I think there's maybe more mature eggs, maybe, or is that? I genuinely don't know. This is exciting. This yellow stuff here is just fat. All this here, fat. Uh, which is interesting because you never really think of an insect as having fat but no. all this is oh. okay uh, that is definitely an egg I just popped it there but this structure look under here that's what I was saying about fat there that's all fat pop that on there it's a bit gross uh, I, I don't know if that's another egg it's a very different colour you can see in here the spiracles um, also uh, another thing um, we haven't, we're a bit low on memory, so I'm just going to work until the memory runs out and then I will have to bid you adieu. Uh, all this in here, this kind of stringy looking stuff, uh, is egg cases, this is where the eggs develop. If it is like Schistoseco gregaria, the plague locust, then, oh, lots of eggs in there, look. She was getting ready to lay again. Um, uh, by the way, unfertilized, these would never have developed. Um, although parthenogenesis can occur in some species, uh, I had one before that had fertile eggs. All these eggs will be unfertile because she was never um, uh, mated. Well, all this here is the egg membranes. The eggs develop uh, in in these little strings and then get grown up into that size. I'm going to cut a bit more with the scissors uh, to go on there so I can see what is in here. I suspect this may be the gut. I'm going to cut the top of the abdomen off, I think. Or at least fold it to one side. Yes, there we go. So I've just removed the top surface of the mm. abdomen, the name of which escapes me. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to cut this open. This might be gross. It might have squished locusts in it, or chewed up locusts. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hello. You okay? Yep. That is, um, <laughs> ooh. Uh, yeah, you can see bits of locust in there. You can see the little bits of chitin which have uh, been partially digested. Beautiful. Uh, if you like, we might get some chunks. You okay? It's it is gross, but science is gross sometimes. <laughs> you need to probably sterilise these. I can tell you that much. Um, oh, that is. There's quite the smell coming off that. Uh, it's kind of vinegary. But yes, that is the digestive system in there. If, uh, there you can see the, sort of, that is the upper digestive system. If you can look in that way, in there. It's kind of hollow now, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that is the stomach. That's where uh, they eat locusts. I well, I almost exclusively feed them locusts, uh, crickets. Uh, give them house flies if they can handle them. Uh, although I have seen a mantis, three centimeters long, take a house fly that was a third of its length. So it's not troublesome for them. Uh, there's more eggs in there. Oh, it's got a lot of eggs in there actually. That's the good. You can see it if I squeeze here. Those mm -hmm. are all eggs. And, as I said, none of them would have developed, so... All this stringy membrane... Yeah, that's... I think we're about done. Um, I hope this has been at least informative for somebody. Uh, I'm definitely not an expert. This isn't the first time I've ever dissected a mantis. Or anything outside of the stuff I've done at uni. But if it was, if it was fun, I'm, I hope you enjoyed it, basically. <laughs>